Ah, I hope I am. Yeah, cool. I unmuted the right thing. Okay. Ah. Bleh. <laughs> Noises. <laughs> Welcome, one and all. Navigator EX here, and this is about to be Bionic Commander rearmed. One brief moment. Okay. And a friendly reminder to anyone who watches this, don't make the mistake I did. Remember to actually buy those cans of compressed air. I'm actually... <laughs> uh, I'm out of compressed air. I could do I do I could do for a proper air compressor instead of the the disposable cans. I'd really rather have the compressor instead. But until then, hmm. I gotta clean out the fans on my old desktop as well. Ah, uh, I needed that reminder. Thanks again. Okay, so Bionic Commando rearmed. I should have a thing open for this. One moment, I gotta. Couple windows that need closing. Uh. And that should bring temps down a little bit. E. Uh. Because if I was organized, what would I be doing? Ah! Nah. There we go. Okay, last week. I don't remember what all weapons I got last week. I seem to remember a rocket launcher being in there last week or a week before. There was a shotgun in there. How am I doing? Uh, yeah, here we go. And we're working our way into enemy territory to blow up whatever Project Albatross is because I honestly forget. I, I think I remember, but I'm not going to commit to the bit and say that I remember. Ah. Uh, all I remember is the NES version of this is infamous for exploding Hitler heads. So, uh... Uh... It's one of those things, it's like, I came into console gaming. I came into video gaming, really, at the tail end of the Super Nintendo. And I always wished, because even though I did play an NES prior at like a neighbor's house a time or two, I always wished I could have gotten in properly during the NES, because this game this game seems like something that would have beaten me into the ground at the time, because I totally would have played it. Ah. But where are my manners? Here's hoping you're doing well out there in internet land. Welcome, Blind Archer. And what am I doing? Oh yeah, game stuff. <laughs> Quite a good bit of game news this week too. I'm kind of keeping an eye out on some of that. Uh, I hope my little mini fan isn't too loud on the mic too. I got a fan blowing on this laptop. I've got to remove all the remove all the the underside of the case. Got to get to the thermal stuff. Reapply some thermal paste. I don't even know if I have any spare. I'm like, hmm. Guess I'll find out. Anyway. Holding up, okay, Captain? You managed to obtain new coordinates in Area 3. Now we can push further into enemy territory. I think we're getting close to Super Joe. By the way, I just remembered. M Agent MA3 asked me... Oh, I already said this. I already went through this part. Okay. She has an admirer, and he had he's married to his, his hand. So, <laughs> okay. That's... Uh, that's That's great. Also, I love these character portraits. I really do need to look this. I know I mentioned it before. I really need to look these character portraits up. The artwork is immaculate here. I love the, the nice shading on there. No, like, black line stuff. It's, it's soft lines and, and, and tones and stuff rather than just, like, coloring book shit. Except on the very outside edge, you can kind of see on dude's hand and his hair there you can see like uh, the black outline but for the most part more, more natural colors and stuff i love that let's mosey oh my god okay proceed to area eight she actually just straight up said where to go which i'm pretty sure i just completely missed last time she said is probably there and i probably just missed it all right is there about to be a truck driving across the ocean can we, can, we, can we do water trucks? Yes. Not yet, though. Oh, he was trying. Or she. 
he or she was trying, they, all of the people involved in sea trucks were trying. Right. Yeah, let's see weapons. I forgot how to switch weapons for a second. It's okay. This is this is gonna lead to some shenanigans, I think. Whoop! Grenades. Oh, I forgot I got grenades. And I also don't remember when I got the grenades. Hey, Imperials! How are you at a game of catch? Oh shit! Are you at a game of catch all bullets? Turn! Oh man. Well, that happened. Okay, that sets you back there. Okay, it doesn't like take you to the nearest point, which makes sense, I guess. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, good. Okay, I was worried I was about to get into another vehicle vehicle combat episode, which, whatever, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay, one more and then onto the level proper. I, I just really like these top-down sections for some reason. I'm just kind of a sucker for them. Ah, uh, one little bit of pseudo-gaming news I've been meaning to cover for a little bit, so I figured I'd go ahead and get this one off of my list because it's a little a little dated not like terrible so the resident evil movie the the okay right right rockets at point blank is in point blank range is bad okay can i do i get health off of those at all didn't think so okay serpentine serpentine oh shit whoa oh, okay that didn't work i don't know how to feel about the movie yet uh, apparently it's supposed to debut September 3rd. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, let's go shotgun. Let's see how this does in this environment. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Narrow corridor. Okay, yeah. Ah, whoop, whoop. September 3rd, and we get a non-Mila Jovovich Resident Evil movie. Okay, rockets would be great right now. Oh, boy. Not that great. Oh, this is embarrassing. Let's see. Okay, now I can more quickly switch when it comes time. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't know how the Resident Evil movie is going to turn out. Uh, they did say they're going to try and stay more faithful to the source material. I feel like I actually already mentioned this on screen once, but I don't remember. But they did say, and this is the part that concerns me, that they're going to be taking stuff from, like, the first... I think three or four games. Now, it's by who is it? I got a note here. Uh, Constantine Film? I, kn I know that name. I should know them from somewhere. Uh, lost the director, though. I forgot to type that down. Something Robert, so that's all I remember. But, okay. 25th anniversary of the first argument. Yesterday! Wow, did I miss that one. Wow. Oh, man. It seems weird to have a horror game release in, like, spring. It seems weird to me, like, that, that would be the time they'd pick, but I don't know. I don't know Japanese holidays. Maybe it makes more sense there. I'm just thinking in terms of Halloween, because why not? Uh, I need to bone up on my Japanese studies, anyway. 25th anniversary of the first RE game. Man, do I feel slightly older now. <laughs> oh, God, I've got to get to those. Hmm. But that cast list, though. Uh, so the article I read way back on Niche Gamer, it's probably doing the rounds on numerous other websites. I didn't know, to, I didn't know uh, any of the uh, cast members other than, like, two that stood out to me, so... Ah... <laughs> uh... Just hopefully not those those sitcom dinosaurs, and then we're then we're good, cause woo. <laughs> okay, but that cast list. There's a lot of people on that cast list. I'm sure I'm I should I probably will know one or two of them on site that I don't know by name, cause I'm not I'm not as good with newer actors. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of 
fell out of more current movies around 2010, 2006, and 2010, so I've missed a lot of good movies. But two names did stand out to me. First off, Neil McDonough. He's been around in a lot of things. He's going to be playing the part of William Birkin. Now, Neil McDonough, um, trying to think of some roles for him. He played Bison in that uh, awful Street Fighter Legend of Chun-Li movie. He played Dum Dum Dugan in the first Captain America movie. He has a really, really vibrant, bright blue eyes. Is is like that's like the first thing that comes to mind when I see that man because he has he's just like I want to think about that man. He's like the brightest blue eyes. And the other actor, so I don't know how he's going to do as well in Burke. I'm just curious. The other actor is Donald Logue as Chief Irons, played Quinn in the first Blade movie, and Detective Harvey Bullock on Gotham, among numerous other roles. Um, now, that catches my attention because this is the first movie in this line, and we've already got dudes from Resident Evil 2. Oh. I guess we'll see. Oh, I see a list here. Oh, Resident Evil, welcome to Ra Raccoon City. Okay, I forgot about the subtitle. Okay, oh, that's a lot of names. One moment. Lily Gao, why does that ring a bell? Screen Gems, Screen Gems and Constantine film as a I remember them. The Fizz Facility I've never heard of. Tea Shop and Film Company. Okay. Hmm? My monitor's kind of doing weird business. So I'm going to... Oh, pop back into the game. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Need the blue chip to access the computer. Okay, I don't have a blue chip. Oh no! Hmm. Well, I can go into area 18. Lily Gow. Okay, Ada. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. I'm still curious how they're going to fit all this RE2 stuff into the first film. I'm like, really not going to focus down like the, the mansion business or... Okay, I guess. What is going on? I'm getting buffering. I'm hoping you're not getting buffering on your end. I'm going to... Uh. One moment. While I... What am I doing? Eh. Okay, seems to be working fine for the moment, but okay. So, where are we? Kaya Skittle, okay. Hannah John Kamen, or Common as Jill Valentine. Tom Hopper as Albert Wesker. I'm gonna have to go over this list. Robbie Amell as Chris Redfield. Hmm. Not gonna lie though, I'm kinda psyched for Donald Logue. Everything I've seen him in, he's he's been pretty awesome. He's in even in, I think, season two of Vikings. Even Jogia? I'm probably pronouncing half of these names wrong. I'm not even gonna I don't even know how, I don't even beat around the bush on that one. You trying to beat a certain time in the challenge room? Remember is that swinging is faster than running, and that reeling in while hanging is faster than reeling in while swinging. Okay. Hmm. Lily Gao is Ada Wong. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's been a little while since I uh, saw that article, so I kind of need to go over it again, give it a, another look. Because I just like to get a look at the faces involved. Okay, uh, no, not challenge rooms. Let's get out of here. All right. Gotta be better than the Paul W.S. Anderson ones, because I, I just... I can't with those. I can't. 
just no. Okay, these guys. Back out to the thing. Another Contra ripoff? I guess? I'm not really sure about the timing of which they, which each of them came out, but uh, pretty close. And this one apparently is a sequel to an arcade title, which until a couple weeks ago I had never heard of. Okay, blue chip. Ah, come on! Who's got the blue? Hello? Okay. Where's the blue chip then? Let's see, area 19. It's weird to me to have all these areas numbered, but they're not, like, really all that sequential. Okay, well, do I actually get things that I need for progress here? Come on. This is probably another challenge room thing. Ah, Contra. I can, I, I just can't with Contra. Okay, let me call this Kilt FSA. I am going to have to talk to these guards, I'm pretty sure, because I don't know where I'm going. Ah. Oh, hello. I won't tell you anything, you dog of the Federation. How about if I yoink? Okay. Huh? And now he's gone all silent like... Hmm. Okay. I will say, though, from what I've seen of Contra, this game is way slower paced. It's not like... Because I've played, um... Oh, God, what was that one on Super Nintendo? Was that Super Contra? I just can't even with that, though. That game that game kicks my ass. Hmm. Trying to think. So, area 18, 19's out. Let's see. Can I get to... 14. Let's try 14. All right, February and June. Hmm. I suppose the time's close enough to line up. I mean, obviously, I'm not expecting them to add full development time then, but, you know, they get enough word about what they're doing over at Konami. I, su I suppose they could draw some inspiration. <laughs> uh. But I'm just good with having more platformers. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, let's see. Not enough armor to stop a single bullet. I wish we had robot suits, like in those animated movies. Now that would be something. Robot. Okay. June 87. Ah, oh, boy, I wasn't even two years old yet. That's that's great. <laughs> uh, here we go, blue chip. Whoop. There's a thing. All right. All right, I'll see what we got up here. Okay, and... Oh, not quite. I don't even know if those serve a purpose now, because... I don't think this difficulty has, like, lives of any kind, really. Ah, blue chip. Let's see, Contra. There's also a G.I. Joe game back on NES that kind of reminded me of Contra to look at, but I never got to play it. I wouldn't mind comparing notes on it at some point. Good thing you got that blue communicator chip, Captain. The Imperials aren't making this easy for us. That's okay, I guess. It makes it all the more satisfying to whoop their butts. That chip is good for areas 7, 8, and 9. Okay, cool. Now, should I try and do them in order? Why not? She did say area eight first, though earlier. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's just do that. Hmm. Ah, uh, man. I mentioned though the robot suits tomorrow. Though apparently, uh, on Steam, I kind of want to take a. Okay. Ooh, new topic. I am all ears. While you're getting that, though, I'll just finish my thought real quick because. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Um, this is going to be death going down there, isn't it? Okay, it's not death. Cool. That is, though. <sighs> Classic animation versus 3D. I'd say situational. My, my preference is... Oh, that's not great. My preference is very much 
very much classic. Um, I have nothing against... Oh, I'm going to need a longer grappling arm, I think. I have nothing against 3D animation. Toy Story, it kind of revolutionized the animation scene for the companies. I'm not even going to beat around the bush on that. You can, you can do some great things with CG. But there's a certain level of... Um, how to put it? I have a bit of nostalgia for classic animation. Uh, 2D animation, pretty much as a whole, I tend to uh, prefer. But you get into that weird flash kind of vectorized stuff, it's really hit or miss. I mean, you've got some stuff that looks really good. And then you've got stuff like Dora the Explorer, it's just kind of, uh, or My Little Pony. And then you have stuff that just does does weird things with the medium, but, but works, like Archer, and I, as a matter of fact, just got through watching a Scanner Darkly the uh, day before yesterday, I think? With a sort of vectorized rotoscoping thing where they, like, essentially draw over the uh, initial images with with vector nonsense. Oh, shit. Sure. You... Guys. Come on. Oh. Uh... But yeah, some 3D animation is good. I'm not a big fan of the, the Disney Pixar kind of kitty stuff. Um, I do really like me some Blizzard cutscenes, even in spite of Blizzard being what they are now, just Activision Blizzard. So, but when possible, I do prefer my 2D animation. I prefer 2D. I especially like the traditional hand-drawn kind of stuff. Oh, shit. Eh. Because, I mean, let's face it, I grew up on Looney Tunes and Animaniacs. That stuff, that just... that They made me the man I am today. Also, some Simpsons. Duck Dodgers is the second favorite thing in the universe for Michael Garibaldi. I could, I could buy that. If for no other reason, then Duck Dodgers is awesome. You're not fooling anyone, guy! Okay. Okay. Huh. This is... Oh, elevators. I, I'm not used to the elevators in this game for some reason. I just don't wrap my head around them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that shield gives him a second shot. Oh, man. Duck Dodgers. I, I would like to watch the uh, Duck Dodgers series that was a thing that happened. Cause that just that just sounds great. I think it's uh, Tom Jones did the theme to that. Is is nuts. Ugh. Uh. Okay. Shotgun. Okay, that's not great. Aha. Ooh. Okay. No, you don't. Cut that out. We, we, we are drone shenanigans. Cut it out. Duck Dodgers. Duck Dodgers. In the 24th and one half century. Oh. Oh. Which is weird for me to say that about Duck Dodgers being so awesome. Because I want to say those ones came out of the later Looney Tunes stuff. And when they hit like the 50s, Looney Tunes started to, started to weaken a bit. Ugh. Sadly, closing out that one golden age of animation and leaning into the, the eventually getting to the 60s where things just fell apart for everyone. Alrighty, let's see. Contact HQ. I forgot what voice I did for this guy, but whatever. Whoa, hold on. Were you wearing sneakers? Those can't be military issue. Ah, but I have to stay as light as possible with all the running and swinging. Fair point. Good thing you don't have shoes made out of steel, huh? Still, though, special ops. Wearing sneakers? That's new to me. <laughs> oh, God, now I'm going to have pumped up kicks stuck in my head. Uh, radio, damn it. Okay, what we got? Okay, this way. Uh... Hmm. 
these aren't too bad. I eh. All right, here we go. Sir, I took the liberty of inviting some fellow soldiers. What fellow soldiers, Private? Some charming chaps in the second platoon. Second platoon? By the gods. Something that matters, sir. Do you remember first platoon? How they took our beds and ate our food? Well, you've just invited the only thing worse than first platoon, Private. Run and tell them that they can't come here. But what should I say? I don't know. Just make sure they don't come here. Come up with something. Now get the heck out of here, you nerd! I... I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Ah! I'll take it. Okay. Ooh, also, yay! Heels. Hmm. I can't draw with the shit. I... The animation thing makes me... That's one thing I, I've never put enough focus into, and I really wish I'd put more focus into it in high school. Had quite a few art classes I can't draw with a shit, and it makes me sad. Because reasons, I guess. Oh. Oh, game. Why do you, why do, you do this thing to me? Okay. And? Uh, ah, jump! Jump around! Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully, I, uh, drawing is one of those things where I feel like there's always more time to to learn it, but I do need to get on that at some point. I just don't know exactly how I want to go about it. Which is like the weakest excuse ever, because, you know, pencil and paper and go, but I don't know. Ugh. Oh, is this another... Is we have another com room? Holy crap, two com rooms in one level. I did not expect that. Hey, man, are you keeping yourself and Haley safe from those anti-air convoys? Doing the best I can. So far, it's been enough. Great. You're really making life easy for the rest of the FSA military, you know? Makes things a lot simpler for the airborne divisions with those AA guns blown away. General Armstrong would never admit that, though. Glad to be of help. Spencer out. Ah. My brother can draw a good bit, though. I had a shit art teacher, though, who kept one of the works he'd promised a friend. Oh, that's not great. Oh. Whoop. Okay. That's not good. I don't suppose I can hack that enemy network again, can I? Hmm. Oh, teleporters. Now we're thinking with portals, I guess. Um, hmm. Okay, trying to think. Wrap my head around. Where, where am I? What drops me here? I need to be on the opposite side of the one that I'm on. Okay. Somehow. Oh, wow. I feel like I should... Okay. Oh, that'll do. Whoop! My brain's going the wrong direction on that one. Sir, is it true that a single FSA soldier is responsible for the setbacks we've experienced lately? Yes, it's true, but you're ordered not to tell anybody about it. Why, sir? Because it ruins the men's morale, that's why. We're so close now, and I don't want our boys having second thoughts. Understood? Yes, sir. Completely, sir. The seeming unstoppable nemesis sent by the FSA to kill us all and tear our plans to shreds is nothing to worry about, sir. Got it. I n never thought about it that way. Um, dismissed? Oh, oh nah, no. I knew a healy dealies. Damn it, game. Uh, another thing I've been wanting to learn how to do for a while. This one I actually do intend to get to. Ah, no! Shame on you. Is learning how to code. The thing is, I want to learn how to code, but I want to learn how to code with games. And Game Maker Studio seemed fine at the time, but I'd like to learn a legit programming language. 
Oh, oh, here we go. Gentlemen. Oh, this is this is a dumb idea here. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, uh, this is going to backfire in the worst way. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, that's enough. Bullets. Bullets everywhere. Uh, so, as far as that coding with an actual game co uh, game thing goes, I was leaning on Unreal for a while, and then just, nah. But, oh, come on, guys. Uh, you, you, don't be a butt. Oh, that's not good. And that was death. Shotgun, maybe? Let's do that. Um, so I think I might actually just settle up on Unity. Oh, come on. Cut it out. Ah, I don't have the firing rate I need. Ah, oh, boy. What am I doing wrong? Oh, the firing rate can be fast. Oh, this is this is gonna be weird for a second. Okay. I guess just crouch any time of someone. Any time I. Okay. And welcome, no third impact, please. Ugh. Where was I on the whole coding thing? It's like there's actually some books on Humble Store right now on the hum on a Humble Bundle, involving a bunch of coding stuff and I'm leaning on grabbing the bundle just so I can get the stuff on uh, I think it's there's a learning C with unity one. Oh no I'm not gonna live long uh, no that was not good hang out with your dogs outside it yeah, it is a pretty nice day it's a nice day here too a little bit of cloud cover but not like yesterday yesterday was was mucky what is with those hmm what is with those those tank little ground little mini ground cart tank things? I can get hit by them, but not much. Oh boy. Ah uh, no. Hmm. Yay! Victor is mine! Oh boy. That's a sound. Whatever he said. Oh, come on. You guys never stop, do you? Ah, uh, second platoon. Is this guy going to have ridiculous badge armor? Uh, ah, thumb slipped. Damn it. But it's nice to see it's a good day where you're... Oh, that was bad. Please don't make me go through that whole corridor. Okay, good. Mm. <laughs> that seemed too easy. <laughs> uh, it was worth a shot. Is that gonna... Oh, aw. Okay, yep, didn't think so. Oop. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, it was grenades I used last time. I forgot entirely. Laser to your nuts! Not lasers! Not bullets! Not shotguns? Uh, ah! Oh, and now that the... Uh, oh boy, also... Whoop, that grenade make it over? Yes! Okay, bullets... Okay, it's time to get down. Oh, okay, here we go. Manage to get in touch with someone from the site. You're getting most of your... Okay, alrighty. Because uh, that actually brings me to another good point that more people here means I get to spread this little fun bit of news. Ooh, okay. Shin guards! Neat! I don't know what that does. But if there's a menu, I can read that. Okay, so first, the downer news. Um... It's nothing bad on my end. This is Sony shenanigans. So I figured I'd clarify that right now. All right. All righty. Demo av available on their site. A non-bank breaking way. Good. That is good to hear. But I'll get back to my own demos and demo business in a moment. 
So the bad news on, as far as Sony, and this is just a rumor right now. Um, there are reports that the PS3, PS Vita, and PSP stores will permanently close circa July. Now, Niche Gamer was the first site I saw with the story. I think it's gone to a couple others. I think it's on GameSpot now. But apparently, there's a, an announcement rumored to come by the end of this month suggesting that the PSN store will no longer be a thing on those platforms. So I need to probably grab a sizable hard drive soon just for my... Um, oh, God, what's it? My PS3, just to grab a few games. With any luck, you'll still be able to just download all the stuff that you've purchased before. If they don't, if they screw that up, then mm, many rages to be had. Hmm. Else? Ah, oh, stream's doing weird. Okay. Okay. Now, I would I would feel a lot better about it though if they were to, you know, somehow add some sort of compatibility with their console, with their PS5, you know, of the backwards kind. It's like, yeah, we're killing all those storefronts off because we're making those games available on PS5. Woo! Now if only can find a PS5 that doesn't cost PS5,000. Just, no. Uh, so, a little bit concerned about that one. But the good news, and this is from a totally different source, totally different thing, 752 PS2 prototypes and demos were apparently released by, what was it? The Hidden Palace onto the Internet Archive. So, yeah, a bunch of crap got released by a game preservation group. And this includes, like, demos, early builds, E3 builds, all sorts of shit. 752, like, demo and pre-release games. Apparently backed up from... A bunch of like uh, CD and DVD media that you know just to get them preserved so that those those discs don't rot. I'm like, yes, 860 gigs worth of game data. I believe was what they put it at, which for nearly 800 games doesn't sound too bad. Like holy shit, an E3 demo or early build of God Hand? Hell yeah. Ah. Uh. I'm a bit behind on the Castle Super Beast podcast, I'm not gonna lie. So, I missed it from there. I got it from, uh, where's the link? Eurogamer is where I saw the story myself. Oh boy, but I'm getting distracted again with my rambling. Why can't you find a high tech robot suit or something cool from on these imp Imperials? No, all you get is some protection for your legs. Those cheap Imperial scumbags! At least now you can take a few more hits. Ooh! Crotch armor! Yes! Okay, so I think seven was... me not being able to reach anything, so that's that's a thing. Uh... I'm gonna have to check out some of those uh, drop things. I'm in particular looking first for games that I already do own, so that I can kind of feel out differences that's where my interest is is finding the games that i already own grabbing pre-release copies and seeing a little bit about how they changed during development and then the stuff that i haven't experienced or haven't played that stuff comes later okay uh let's go area 17 i think i can't remember which one Alrighty, Takoki Mikazuki is now available. Good. Good. Available for the world to share. Alrighty. Uh, I don't recall if I've already been in here. Ah, yellow chip, I guess. Now I can go all of the places. Okay. 
Ah, the syringe room's not open. Alrighty. Noted about that, that naming thing. Yeah, because... Demos and, uh, like, pre-release and beta software is one thing. I will neither condemn nor condone piracy in context of the stream, but, yeah, it's... Nice to know that games can be backed up safely for those who have the legal ability to do so while it's changing from area to area, so it, it's a thing. Intel says this yellow communicator chip is the latest and most advanced ever produced. With it, communications will be clear and effective, even in Area 10, 11, and the Imperial Headquarters in Area 12. Okay, so actually just got to get there. Cool. Let's see, area 18. Just going ahead and check all these bases and see if I can get all of the cool things out of them. And then I will put my heroic crotch armor to, to good use. Ah, no syringes. Can't get in there. Ah. Nah. 752 games. I mean, holy shit. That is a lot of games. I know there's someone out there who saw that and thought to themselves, my Steam backlog is bigger than that. There's got to be that one guy who's got to be a buzzkill. I'm like, nah, but those are games that did release. These demos are not. I don't have anything for that one. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Do we have any more cool things? Ah, you, you hush with your, your talky word bubbles. Okay, now. I won't tell you anything, you dog of the Federation. Okay, will you tell me now? <laughs> that wasn't quite what I meant to do. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> mistakes were made. Very loud, very deadly mistakes. Okay, that's not a thing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the worst kind of interrogation. Oh, uh, boy. Which is really saying something considering I just got through watching... God, was it Pete Holmes as Batman? Like, the worst Batman ever. I don't think I've ever heard of Pete Holmes before, like, two days ago. Fun stuff. Yeah. Worst Professor X ever. And I don't mean that in he played Professor X badly. I mean his Professor X is a douche. Just a monstrous douche. So that's... So that happens. Okay. Donkey Kong. Ah. Uh -uh. All right, let's get in this fortress. Oh, what the? Oh, no, not my pants. You bastards. I'm nothing without my pants. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ah. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be a thing, isn't it? Huh? Uh, yeah, this was a bad idea. Mm. Okay. Mm. You guys. Oh, this is reminding me of uh, the game Metal Storm, but awful. Uh, one of you bastards. Oh, no. <laughs> this is... Okay, can I swing at them? Hmm? Whoop. Whoop. Can't, can't yank them down? Nothing? No. It's not, it's not, not doing. Ah. You ass butt. Oh, don't tell me. Ow. <laughs> this is going to be stupid for a minute. Oh, fiddling around with dolphin, nice. 
Uh, not, not by the door. Ah! I will harm you! Let's see, can I? Ah, one down, sucker. Ah, yes, finally. Download the machine learning background mods for RE2 and 3. Nice. I've seen some stills of those. That's the kind of thing it's like, I would love to see that in motion. Oh, sure. Ah. No. No, you don't. No, you don't. Ah, no, no. Uh, no, none of this. Oh, oh, finally. Bouncy fan pad. Ah, ha, ha Don't shoot my crotch, please. Thank you. Mods came up with their own custom builds of Dolphin. That's the weirdest thing to me, is like... The mods, like, modifying the files is one thing, but then they come up with their own full custom builds of Dolphin, and I'm like... When they come up with, like, a whole dedicated build of their emulator, now that's some freaking dedication. Oh, oh no. More of these guys. Oh, but you're... Okay, but you're not one of the guys who, who's, like, a climbing butt butt. Okay. Where? Oh, man. Dedication and skill on, on behalf of those those various... Dudes. See that? That right there is one of the reasons I kind of wish I could learn how to code. If for no other reason, like, poke around in the guts of an emulator. Arr, no, not, not that. Arr. I feel like for... I feel like my hands... In my mind, I'm playing Bionic Commando. In my, in my hands, I'm playing that game where... You're trying to climb a mountain as a dude in a bucket. Like getting over it or something. Take your time to figure out. Oh, yeah. Streaming, yes. PC streaming. Okay. Oh, this is this is interesting. Uh, no. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's not terribly hard once you get the hang of it, and you thankfully don't need a capture card for it. Um. If you do have a... Okay, what's it? Let me think. If you have a pretty decent graphics card, doesn't even take a particularly new one for it, then you can get a little bit more out of it, especially for, like, like recording. Because uh, my old desktop from 2013 has a GTX 660, and it can, it can do some of the streaming. If every other thing I have for streaming dies, I can roll back to it for streaming. On a card from 2013. So, so that's nice. And uh, I don't know too much about Intel chips. I'm led to understand some of the Intel processors have some good onboard stuff. Captain Spencer, I have urgent information. We've located Super Joe. Finally, where is he? The Imperials have set up a POW camp in Area 7. I hope he's still alive. Who knows what torture he's been through? Joe would never give in. He's as tough as nails. No doubt you're right, but hurry anyway, Captain. What do I use for streaming? Okay. You better believe it. Spencer out. Okay, Streamlabs. Oh. Uh, Streamlabs, uh, as a website, they do have some good services. Uh, the chat box, as a matter of fact, I got, I, I, I run from them. Um... I don't use Streamlabs OBS. If you've got enough CPU overhead, it's pretty good for it. It kills the piss out of my laptop. It's it's a little bit heavier than just OBS Studio. So I use OBS Studio to, to keep that short. OBS Studio, it's a bit more daunting, I'd say. But it's noticeably more lightweight. Which, uh very much appreciated. Okay, I can go that way. Okay, let's see what happens. I take it that way. Hmm. I feel like that way is a trap. Okay, what happens? I drop it in there. That teleports into oblivion. Okay, 
what uh well I do like me some OBS. Uh, mm. Ah, here we go. And down. Yeah, you can do a lot with OBS once you get the hang of it, but... Yeah, it, it's a little bit of a learning curve. Nothing nothing crazy. And plus, you can you can download some your own, like, overlays and stuff. Or just do like I did and create the shit in MS Paint. <laughs> Sir, have you seen the improvements we've made to the siege machine? Oh, shit. What of them, Private? We replaced the old engine with a new improved version. The results were amazing. Nothing can stand in the siege machine's path. Or at least nothing should. Is that so? What happens if one of those machines drives into one of our facilities? That would... Uh, I... I have to go, sir. I must head down to maintenance and ask a couple of questions. Uh, no, give me my healy dealies so I can maybe take out a siege machine, whatever. Oh? I don't know what the relevance of that blue thing is, but hey. Oh, neat. Okay, careful. Uh, don't want to get murdered by blades. Oh, I need to swing back to the other one. That's... Hmm. Oh, well, the shotgun. Oh, no, that's not great. Hmm. Oh, that was... That was all of the bad. OBS Studio. Hmm. Yeah, they have their own website, so it shouldn't be terribly difficult. Uh, but Streamlabs OBS is based off of OBS Studio, so it's, uh... Oh. Uh, no. I, I like not being dead. Thank you, game. <laughs> uh, uh, not quite. Oh, uh, that was bad. Hmm. And up. Ah! Don't spike my butt, game! No! Uh. Pew. Okay, let's see. Razors? Ah, no! Huh? All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, you can drop. Thank you, thank you, Rad. I, I still, ugh, this guy's name is Rad. Just, what is wrong with everyone involved? You know what? No, you get a rocket for being stubborn. <laughs> that is your... That is your treatment. That's what you get. Oh, I don't need to be on a rocket launcher now. This is a terrible idea. Oh, shotgun! Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh, up! <laughs> okay, that could have gone better. Alright, be right back. Gotcha. Whoa. Oh, stream's choking. Ah, one moment. Dreams having a little bit of a bit of a hissy fit. One moment, I want to pause my recording for a couple seconds so that my CPU can cool down. Whoop. And all right, hopefully, hopefully we're good here. Ugh. Ugh, I'm gonna have to set up on the desktop. I just know it. I really need to get a. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, hello. All right. Oh, that's cool. That's... I don't know why that's so cool to me. It's... It's, it's a little... little touch, but whatever. Okay. Ah, no. No swinging out there. Oh, three-point hero landing. Nice. All right, what are we... Oh, boy, I can't even remember how I beat this thing. So the hero with the FSA finally arrives! Okay, here we go. I think grenades are involved. Oh boy. Okay, neat. Okay, try and stay between. Ha ha! 
Okay, moving, 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 moving. Please don't die. Huh, what was... Oh, I remember bolts. Oh, oh you die so hard there. Okay. Okay, so I've got to kite him back to an area where I can get up there and grab him by the bolts. I remember now. Also, bright red grappling hook. Holy crap. That is a red hook. And welcome back. Okay. Now I've got to do this carefully. Big mama, huh? Mobile, military armored mobile artillery. Oh, shoot. That was not great. Okay, try not to die. Okay, that grenade's got enough of a blast radius. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't, you butt. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Okay. You'll never catch... Oh, shh! Jinkies! Oh, this seems like not the best idea, but... Arr, what are you... Just shoot a cannonball at a guy. That's, that's not very neighborly. What are you doing? Get over here. You mind? Oh, shit! Move! 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 I don't want to die. I like not being dead. Okay, how many of those is he gonna... Okay, up. Uh, grab him by the nuts! Okay. Oh, boy. And... Oh, boy, a rain of grenades. I don't need to be in too close to him, either. Okay. I can do this. He's gonna crush that one, and then he doesn't crush the next one. That would be neighborly. Yes! Okay, up top. Get up. Get up, and... That's not just me grunting for dramatic effect or, or craziness. I'm actually pressing the button hard enough for... Whoa, shit! Up! <laughs> uh? <laughs> shit! <laughs> okay, he's keeping me on my toes. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Dude. Come on. Be a pal. Oh, I can't have to go over there and bait him into trying to run me over. Ah, boy, come on. Okay, one more time. Give me just a little more time. Oh, yes! Are we good? Eat missily death! Oh, please don't kill me now. Oh, come on! No! Okay. Ever play a game? Oh. In the stream token? Okay. Ever play a game as a kid, but I completely forget the name of it, only remembering the gameplay and a vague idea of what the box art looked like. So I stumble upon it decades later, see the box art, and go, holy shit! That's it. That's the game I played as a kid and couldn't remember the name of. No, I've got about half of that. Hmm? The hell? Okay, yeah, I've got about half of that. Um, uh, my tablets. I've either my tablets choking or the stream's choking. I hope it's, I hope it's the former, not the latter. Uh. Hmm. Exact situation happened to you last night when you were browsing a site for ROMs of Wii games. Interesting. Oh, shit. Okay, I think I get the the game here. I can hopefully... Okay, I want to refresh my tab here on Firefox. It's being, it's being weird. It's being weird, and I don't know if the stream is choking or if my tablet is choking. But something's, something's up. Uh, so I, I am without chat for a second. Uh. Let's 
Let's drop down. Let's go ahead and get that three-point landing in. Whoop. I love that. What is going on? Okay. Uh. Okay. A 3D mecha shmup you played as a kid on the Wii. Ah, Counterforce. I've heard of it. I don't know anything about it. What in the hell? Okay. I'm going to have to take a peek at this at the end of the stream. Around f about an hour in. Okay. One moment. I'm going to pause real quick. <laughs> uh, sorry about that there, Blind Archer. Uh, played as a kid on the Wii. Okay, trying to run later today. Okay. Alrighty. Something is up. I don't know if, it, if the stream is being a butt or if... Uh, okay. Oh boy, let's see. Where are we going? Okay. And have a grenade. Have a nice neighborly grenade. Thank you. Okay. But describing that experience, though, I've the closest I've had to the experience as described was with a game, and I think, in in retrospect, that the game is Bump and Jump on the NES. Oh, sure. But that's, um... I'm not sure. All I remember is, um... There were, like, frisbees in use in the game. Oh, shit. Oh. That could have been bad. Okay. Okay, come on, guy. You're supposed to... Yeah, the Wii, it does... It seems to me like not terribly long ago, either. I mean, it's just weird that the, the Wii's... It feels a little weird to me that the, the Wii is gone. Okay. Uh, I think these ones will be the harder ones to get, so get the top ones first, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. That could have gone worse. Oh. What are you in? Okay, so at least three volleys of, of shots. But it is nice, though, to see the Wii getting any kind of attention. I'm, I'm down with either. Okay, here we go. Up. I uh, got your nuts. And I still have most of my health. That's the best part. Oh, move. Oh, that's that's not good. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, those are a little too close. Uh, I'm not gonna get out of the way in time, am I? <laughs> running, running, running. Butthole firmly puckered. Mm. Fifteen years since the since the Wii. Okay. Good lord! That does seem insane! Okay, what? Uh, okay. Okay, he did not take that last crash all that well. That man did not buckle his seatbelt. And now he has paid the ultimate price for his hubris! Fifteen years, shit. It's like I'm playing this on Xbox 360. Same thing. It it feels so weird to think that the console I am playing right now is essentially a retro console now. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, the PS3 as well. Oh man. That's why that news earlier about the PS3 and PSP and Vita closing their stores, why that seems so, so weird to me. Because I'm still trying to reconcile in my mind that these consoles really are that old. These ones, oh boy. That three years from now, if these consoles were people, they could go out for a pack of smokes. But don't, though, because smokes are icky. <laughs> Anywho, okay, where are we at? Oh, Vector Cannon. So, does, does that make me some kind of man of vectors now? Like some sort of weird 
Vector man. Is that it? Is that the, is that the bit? Because I'm okay with this bit. <laughs> I don't know. What you got, Haley? Haley, I know where Joe is. We're moving out. Hi, Captain. Radio chatter says General Armstrong's troops are making a push forward. He might be a stuck-up traditionalist, but I have to admit the man is a brilliant tactician. Man is a miserable warrior, but a brilliant scientist. I can't remember what we said exactly. Whatever. If they could hurry up, that'd be great. I guess those old fogies can't keep up with a high-flying youth like you and me, huh? I guess not. Hey, Captain, that vector cannon can be used to bounce shots in pretty interesting ways. Now you can hit switches and enemies that would otherwise be out of reach. Even your reach. Wasn't there some intel about a closed door in Area 7? Brilliant scientist, but an average... Fr okay. <laughs> I'll take it. <sighs> Suck it, Bardock! Anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and <laughs> knock off with that one. So thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. <laughs> Sorry for making anyone feel any older than you wanted to feel. Holy shit. Just too many console generations. Wow. I will be back Saturday. Yeah, let's go with that. Saturday uh, with Robot Alchemic Drive. Sunday with Dirge of Cerberus. And I am still getting caught up on all those freaking uploads and Twitch VODs. But I'm steadily plucking away with it. I hope to have them caught up within the next two weeks. Work has been nuts. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to start just uploading them and just saying F it and I'll get them cleaned up later. <laughs> so they may not even be titled when they get up on YouTube for a bit. All right. Oh, God. Hey, used to be with it. When did they change what it was? You know what happened to you, too? Uh. Ah, uh, damn it, Abe. Anywho, thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. Navigator EX here, and I will see you when I see you. Take it easy, party people. Hmm? It'll happen to you!